Long live the fighters. Uh, hey guys, John here. I just got out of seeing Dune Part 2. Now we've been hearing some over the top, remarkable things about it. So my expectations admittedly were a bit high. It met, met every expectation and hope and dream that I've had. This is, oh, I knew it was gonna stay in, but this was as perfect of a movie that I've seen in a long, I'm saying it, it is perfect, but I'm saying it's as perfect of a movie I've seen in a long time. The character depth, they just keep developing. The mythology gets richer and richer. The internal politics of the galactic state. Um, and Timothy Chalamet, I mean, look, you know that I think he's one of the world's best, but like he showed us things in this movie that I didn't even know he was capable of. Uh, Austin Butler's fantastic. Uh, Josh Brolin is fantastic. There's a cool scene in the movie where we see Thanos fight Drax. Uh, they showed a clip, uh, just a glimpse of that in the trailer. Um, the action is riveting. The hand-to-hand -hand combat is some of the fastest, quickest, most well-choreographed hand-to-hand -hand combat I've seen in years. But it's all about story and depth and mythology and just and world building. And it ends so satisfying, yet completely opens for wherever the story goes next. Um, this is the kind of movie that is why I'm into movies. That's what Dune Part 2 is. And it's only every couple of years that I feel that way, where I've seen a movie where it makes me go, this is why I love movies, and Dune 2 is that. We'll definitely talk more about it tomorrow on the John Campus Show, so uh, along with the fighters, I'll talk to you guys later.